the DC series is back. These are six DC comics that you need to get before it's too late. This is part four of five, so if you want to see what they are, stay tuned. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get one free pressing of your choice when you grade 10 with the code We Love Comics Free Press. Link in description. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics. And yes, here is my cat. He saw the camera go on, so of course, he wants to be part of the show. So we have the DC series back again, where I show several books. There'll be six in this video that you need to get. Whether you know about them, whether you have them or not, that's up to you to decide. Uh, one quick announcement before I start showing the books. I want to let people know an update with the cash back because that original program ended on the 30th. But the good news is they actually just extended it. So everything is the same. So if um, you signed up and you have not spent the $25 to get the $10 um cashback bonus you now have until september 30th so it has been extended so if you've never signed up before uh all you have to do is there's a link in the description just um click on the link sign up and if you spend 25 dollars or more before september 30th you'll get ten dollars cash back and a bunch of people have confirmed they have gotten the ten dollars cash back so it does work so that's good news so if you've already signed up, don't worry about it. You don't lose anything. You don't have to do anything. But make sure if you make a purchase, make sure you activate it before you buy something. Otherwise, it will not count. So with that being said, let's start getting into the books. All right. This is a book I've shown in several videos. This is absolutely, in my opinion, a must-have this is Forever People issue number one. This is the first full appearance of Dark Side. And, you know, hopefully the DC comic movies and Warner Brothers will get their act together and start really doing movies the way they really should, and that's taking their time. So this is probably going to take a little bit longer, but the good thing is uh, it gives you plenty of time to get these at still decent prices because you know eventually. Like I said, if they get everything right, Darkseid is going to appear in a movie. They were already thinking about it with the uh, last Justice League movie. So it's just a matter of time. This one definitely is a must-have. Now, I bought these years ago. I was telling people to get these because, I mean, with a major DC character like that, just like you see with Thanos, just a matter of time. Now, I paid $104.50 for this one. That's probably the most expensive one I've bought. But this is probably easily a 6.0, if not higher. Uh, great artwork. A little weird, but um, definitely a book to pick up. If you can get it for under $100, pick it up. All right, and now the counterpart. Now, this is one of those exceptions to the rules. This is um, Superman's X-Pal the new Jimmy Olsen, issue number 134. Now, this is only the first cameo appearance of Darkseid, but this one is more desirable than the one I showed. Now, obviously, you can't be, go wrong with either one. I would highly recommend you get both. But if you only had enough money to buy one or the other, this is the one that you want to get. Now, most of the time, probably 98 out of every 100 times, the full appearance is the most desirable. But this is the one most people want. Now, Dark Side isn't on either cover, so it's not that. I guess it's just the artwork that people prefer for this one. I mean, like I said, you can't go wrong either way. But this is another book I've been telling people to buy for a while. I only paid $37.99 for this one. But uh, the centerfold is detached. But for that price, I don't care. I have several copies of both of these books. Um, I would expect to spend anywhere from 75 to 150 on this book, and that's for, like, like fine and under. And, of course, if you're looking for 9.8s, expect to spend a couple of hundred. Unless you have that money, I would probably, I would tell you to buy the lower grades, and you can still make profit if you're going to sell them. Uh, this is a book that most people don't know about. I have about two or three of these copies. This is definitely a book that is under the radar that you should acquire. Uh, this is Superman's Girlfriend, Lois Lane, issue number 70. 
Uh, this is the first Silver Age appearance of Catwoman. And um, this is a book that most people either don't know about or pass up on. And if you've ever seen, like, the first Silver Age of um, Two-Face or Scarecrow or um, Penguin or any of those, they get pretty expensive. Now, this book is probably about a hundred to hundred and fifty dollar book, but you could find deals for this book all the time. I only paid forty three dollars for this book, and obviously making a pressing and a dry cleaning would make this even more valuable. So it's gonna be probably about the seventy five to a hundred dollar range, but you can find deals under fifty dollars if you search hard enough. And as you could see, this isn't a one point oh or anything. I mean I would probably say it's about a three point five ish. Getting a pressing may bring it up to a four point five but this is, as you can see, Cat Loves Catwoman. So <laughs> he came jumping in. Definitely another book to pick up if you can get it. Many people do not know about it. All right. Next book. This is definitely a must-have. This is cooled off a little bit because they postponed the movie. But, I mean, postponed doesn't mean completely stop. Again, with the DC um, Cinematic Universe and Warner Brothers it's just a matter of them getting themselves back on track and maybe starting all over again. But this is the new Teen Titans issue number two. This is not that. That's from another one. This is the first Deathstroke. I only paid $67 for this book. But again, I bought these years ago. I have several copies. So I probably spent between the $60 and $85 range for this. Um, expect at this point to pay about $125 to $200, depending on the grade. And that's for like a near mint minus down so this is a book that absolutely is a must-have in my opinion uh, whether he ends up in a movie or not i guess that depends they were going to utilize him hopefully they stick with it uh, this is one of those books it's harder to find in better grades because of the yellow it shows a lot of dirt this one has an indent which a pressing would fix so i would say this is probably a 9.2 to a 9.4 maybe it's 9.6 with the pressing but this is a book definitely to acquire. All right, two more. This is absolutely a book to get. And I'll show you something special about this book that most people may not be aware of. And if you could find it, please do. Uh, this is Shazam issue number 28, which is the second appearance of Black Adam and the first appearance since the Golden Age. He only made one other appearance, which is Marvel Family issue number one. That's going back to the 1940s, and that's probably about a five to $10,000 book, even in lower grades. So the average person is probably not going to be able to afford that. So this is the next best thing. Now, this book right now, and again, I bought these years ago. This book is going to cost you anywhere from about 125 to about 250 again, in the fine down range. But this is definitely a book to get. Um... Again, it all depends on what they're going to do with the DC movies. I cannot stress that enough. So you are taking chances on these because we don't know uh, if they change their mind in movies. And they might not include somebody they previously said. So keep that in mind if you are going to invest. But here's what I want to show you. Okay, I paid 134 for this book. But this is a special one. This has what's called the Mark Jewelers insert. And what that means is inside this book, there is an advertisement. That was only in certain books. I believe it was only books that were um, brought to the militaries. And there's an advertisement called Mark Jewelers. And if you could find that insert, that makes this even a rarer book. So not every one of them is going to have it. And some people may not know about it. So you, if you have this book already, open it up and look and see if you find the Mark Jewelers insert. It's a full page, basically an advertisement, but it's only in those special ones. Now, normally it would have like a little star somewhere around here that they kind of inked in. But um, as you can see, it's not in every one. And I've checked this book before. It does have the insert. So this is legit. Uh, you're probably for the Mark Jewelers insert. If somebody knows about it, you're going to spend over 200. If they don't know about it, you could snatch a steal. So definitely be on the lookout for that and check your books just in case because, again, somebody may not have known about it. All right, so we are going to have one more book to show, and then I have one more video, which I 
we'll have out in the next couple of days. And thank you for being patient with so many books being out there because of new movies and TV shows being introduced. Um, I wanted to make sure I gave people a little bit of a break so they're not trying to buy too much at the same time. So we have one more video coming out, which is the the top six that I would recommend. But this is the top one for this video. And also make sure you wait until the end of the video to see who's today's subscriber shout out. If you want to be one, just hit subscribe. And if you want to ask for one, I don't mind. We'll put you on the list. So this is a book I would definitely recommend to get. This is Green Lantern issue number 59. And with the Green Lantern movie, it's Green Lantern Corps. Corp. Green Lantern Corps. Well, the Coors is a beer, so it's the Green Lantern Coors. Try and say that ten times fast. Now, this one has a little tear over here, but this is the first appearance of Guy Gardner. Now, they haven't confirmed that he's in the movie, so I don't know anything about it, whether or not he is or not. But when they're talking about the Green Lantern Corps, who knows if he gets a cameo appearance? So it might be worth taking a chance on, just in case. But even if that doesn't happen, that doesn't mean it can't happen in another movie, provided it doesn't end up like the original Green Lantern movie. So he may get a debut at some point. Now, they're using Hal Jordan and Jon Stewart in the next movie, but anything Green Lantern is going to go up. And again, you want to get books before something is announced. So whether he ends up in a movie even as a cameo, I don't know. But you could still get this at a decent price because most people are going to be looking for the other characters. Now, I only paid $74.94 for this book. You can find this book for under $100 all day from about fine and under. This one has a date stamp. It has the little rip. So this is probably a 5.5 to a 6.0 range. But even still for that price for a first appearance, definitely worth getting. It is Silver Age. So not every book is going to be in the greatest condition. And it might be one of those you could snatch a deal on. So um, get that book if you can. So those are the six books. I'm glad you guys were patient. If you appreciated these videos and want me to continue stuff like this, give it a thumbs up. Show me the support because the more thumbs up a video gets, the more it tells me this is the kind of stuff you like. And after the DC part is over, um, I will eventually get back to the five comics that you can get for under $100. And I got so many videos that, you know, I got enough videos to do every other day for like three months at this point. At one point, I was getting nervous that I was running out. But uh, again, when you have the right mind frame, things will end up always working out, even when you don't think it will. Whether you believe in that or not, I leave that up to you. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to, forget to hit subscribe. Share button is always awesome to let other people know about my channel. Wait until the end. And don't forget, it's not you. It's not I. It's We Love Comics. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next video. And who knew Ron Howard was one of the Green Lanterns?